So today's video is going to be a little difficult to put together. It's basically several days worth of recording kind of combined down into one. We got a lot done during the video. We were trying to go after a level 40 little general guy from this little area behind us. I'm going to try to see if there's another one in there right now. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys and kind of put together the clips of all the things that happened in the last few days. It was full disaster mode, so I apologize in advance. But welcome back to Myth of Empires. Let me flip it over to, to the actual regular intro and the regular video. And I'll see you guys here at the end for we're going to try one more time to get this right. Welcome back to a brand new video. TBF Gaming jumping once again into Myth of Empires. Excited to get going today. The last couple days I've spent just grinding out levels, trying to get ourselves a little bit higher in each one of the stats. The best way to do that is to just get a big crafting queue on one of your benches and just attach yourself to that bench and then let, let it just craft forever. Doing that, we were able to max out medical. I've been able to max out recruiting and we're, we're getting closer in a couple of the other stats. Armorer and something else. We got to keep focusing on those ones. I was also trying to figure out the whole guild marker thing that you guys keep telling me to sell things in. I guess I kind of get it. I, I sold a couple things kind of accidentally, but I don't actually know how. So we put stuff in there. We went to resource collection, and I was able to sell a couple things. I just don't know how that worked. I really don't. I still can't figure it out. The other things we did check out in there that I've, I've kind of understood a little better. The blessing stuff. I was able to purchase some blessing things. Well, oh, actually, I don't know if it's still good. It definitely took the money, but it looks like it dropped back down to 64, even though I spent the money. Interesting. It must only last as long as you're online. I don't know. That's really weird. But you can do that. You can also come in here and do bribery. If you've got somebody that has got too much hostility on you, you can spend 100 coin to go ahead and lower the hostility for different people. Like this one, we can lower back down to zero. Boom. Now we don't have hostility with that crew because it was getting close to the point where they would be doing an attack on us. So something you can kind of keep an eye on inside there. Purchase protection. Oh, that's really cool. You can actually do protection. Oh, interesting. 100 meat, 100 flax, wheat, patty. What is this one? Coins and what is that one? Oh, that's the uh, the the what is the attribute points? Uh, not attribute points, activity points. Okay, we'll check those out later. And then the last one is the tribute, and that just changes, I guess, your durability or how wide it is. Not 100 percent sure. We're still kind of figuring that out. There's so much to learn in this game, and there's not, like, a good place to actually learn it. We've found most of our random stuff through comments from you guys and then from other YouTubers or from just random Reddit posts from two years ago. So it's a little hard to kind of find some of these stats, but we're, we're or the, uh, not stats, the settings and different things on the server, but we're figuring it out. In terms of what we've been doing inside of the guild base, Goat said he put down a little wolf thing over here. I haven't seen wolves wandering around, but apparently he's got wolves wandering around through here, so... I guess, inside here, hold E for menu, no, I'm not 100% sure, I don't want to mess with anything here, uh, defense status open, patrolling wolf defense house, no, 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 don't do anything, I don't want to change anything, because I'm not 100% sure how that works, the farm, looks like the farm <coughs> is empty, the farm's been weird too, it's like we're not getting seeds back, and then I was able to plant a couple crops that we keep getting seeds from and then the seeds disappear so some weird things going on i'm not sure if it's with the latest update or if it's just in general things are happening weird but we've been doing a bunch of leveling of our guys as well these guys are all up to level 60 we got 62 60 61 60 61 61 63 we actually took him off because we were going to check to see if we could upgrade him he has a little thing down here that says level up. I went down here to check it out. You click level up and it says you need gorilla armor. This armor is made using inferior animal fur. Doesn't offer great protection. So I don't think we can make it, but I, I'm going to try. I tried this stuff here to see if this would work, but it doesn't seem to work. So let me see if I can make my own gorilla. Is it something that I make? Maybe it's on my inventory. We've got crude woman wooden helmet. Wood, no. I don't know. It's not something that I can actively make. Well, we've, we've been doing a bunch of other leveling up. Let me quickly, quickly go through the menus, and I'll just show you what we did do. We got heavy arm, or not heavy armor, pole arm up to 290. We've been rolling through that, and we got three new stats there. Balance Master 1, Cavalry Nemesis, and Skull Harvest. We hit a little bit harder with that now. One-handed, I need to switch back and do a little bit of work on that later. Agility, we've gotten bow up to 410, so we did get a couple new things here. Quick Shooter, increase arrow drawing speed. Great precision, greatly decrease aim time, and reduce dur uh, bow durability lost by 20%. So those are huge. Riding is one of the few stats that we have over level 450 that we purchased the upgrade for. And we were able to add Cavalry Archer and Centaur. So we were a little bit better 
at riding those regards. Light armor, we're almost to 450, and we just got light deployment one and wall climbing. So you can climb walls in light armor. So really cool. Unflinching, increased range damage by 10%, and light armor is what we should be unlocking really soon in there. Physique, we have, I think it's just physique. We added a couple things, hard skull and strong thighs. So we got strong thighs now. Planting, we've gotten up to 318, and we added fertilizer expertise. And then on intelligence, we got medicine all the way to 450, and we unlocked these three. Ambrosia, which is increased food effect by 40. This one is medicine effect by 40. And this one is alcohol effect by 40. So fine wine, working miracles, and ambrosia. And then the last one, we did recruitment. We went and purchased our little upgrade to go above 450, and we're up to 526 already. And we've got recruit talents too. Can recruit warriors below level 55, so that's awesome. Uh, and, and then Renown, I think we got a little bit higher too. And we recruited one person already that was level 39, and they're already up to 44, so that's awesome. That's our brand new leader. I don't know if you're like really good stats, but it is a blue rarity, so I guess it's okay. It's not like great, great, but it's definitely not bad. But I don't know what, I don't know. I have a hard time telling what the different borders are. This is like a yellow border. So I guess, is that a gold, gold border? Tier, elite, fighting capacity, powerful, rarity, rare. So yeah, I don't know, it's kind of confusing. In terms of their stats, they're already at 198 in terms of one-handed, and they're really good at throwing things. So <laughs> I know that because they killed me with throwing stars earlier, throwing whatever it is they throw at us. That's kind of all we got going there. I did want to go recruit at least one or two more new guys. We're about to hit our max because 20 or 25 is the max for total warriors that you can have on the server. So that's some... Oh, you know what? I just noticed on the top left we do have a buff going. Can I look at what they are? We've got a buff going for in increased max stamina... By 56 for 30 minutes. That might be from a food we ate. I'm not sure. Player XP gains 64%. And player X warrior XP gains 64%. So we have XP gains purchased through the blessing. But I don't know if that's just for me or if it's guild-wide. I assume it's guild-wide. But now I'm not so sure. I'll have to wait and see when Goat comes on. We'll do it again and see what happens. Goat was kind enough to hook us up and let us use these two here. So we've been using these two for recruiting. I'm actually going to go shoot a new warrior friend in the face right now and see if we can get some recruiting started so we can get at least a little bit higher level. So we can go all the way up to level 40 now. So let's get this going. Uh, no, and of course, now that I can go up to 40, they're all going to be in the 30s because that's kind of how our luck goes. 30, yeah, look, 37. Dang it. That's not what we need. Hold on, there's another boss dude way back there. That guy. Oh, look at that. Barely dropped, by the way. Oh, come on. He held still right at the last second. Come on. How am I missing this many times, man? Come on, dude. There we go. Let that guy come to us. I think it's a leader. Maybe it's not. Oh, I hit someone else. That was not intentional. 34, 33, 34, 33. That is not what we need. All right. Okay, we're going to run to the other village. Let me go grab one of my horses. We've got now three or four horses all the way up to level 40 or 50. Oh, wait, there he is. That's actually the guy right there. Hold on. Oh, it is. It's a 40. This will be our, fir Ow! This will be our first level 40 if we can get him. Okay, they, they should lose interest. The, one, the wrong one lost interest. Yep, the wrong one went away. Hold on. Come on, you're you're gonna be our friend, man. Got it. Come with me. Come on, buddy. He keeps bringing all of his friends with him. Okay, lose interest, lose interest, lose interest. She's not losing interest. <laughs> it did not work. Ow. Dang it, he keeps retreating back in there. All right. They'll lose interest in just a second. I'm getting that level 40, man. That is the goal today. Our first level 40 will be awesome. Are they down there beating up my, our trap? I hope not. Oh, come on. Fix it. There you go. Careful, that dude will one-shot me. What are you doing? Stop beating up my base. Okay. Is he coming? Come on, come on, come on. We're going to get this guy down here. We just got to get him over here. Okay, she lost interest. We're good. Okay. You still care about me? 
He's coming. He's coming. Okay, he lost interest. And boom. Come be my friend. Come be our friend. Let's go. Switch to the thing. Alright. There you go. Alright, time to retreat. This dude is legit. Look at his armor. Okay. We're gonna get this guy into the trap. Oh my god. That was a little scary. Oh, she she coming after me now too? Don't do it. Stop it, lady. Haha, <laughs> you hit your own guy, dummy. Okay. Ow. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't go. Don't go all range on me now. There you go. Come on. Oh, no. Fall in. He did not fall in. We are struggling. <laughs> Come on. Fall off. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fall. Yes. We got it. The trap is amazing. The trap, man. The trap is incredible. Her, we're going to try to kill, but this is going to be rough now. Okay. Okay, we can do this. I just got to be careful. If he starts shooting us, we're going to die, but it's okay if we do. So kill her off. And once hostility goes up, we're probably going to get attacked. But level 40 now, this is awesome. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, hostility up. Raider hostility is a little high. And it drops the thing up here, which is nice. Pick that up. Okay. We really need him. Oh, this is getting really low durability. No? Come on, dude, man. If you're going to stay over there, maybe I can go that way. But Is there a separator there? Oh, there's a separator again. Okay, okay. They must have fixed that. There you go. Come on. There you go. Once we figure out the range, we're good. Now we just stay here and poke on him. If he shoots me, I'm in trouble. But as long as we can keep hitting him, we're good. And I think we're stopping his reloading every time, too. Oh, my God. This is going to take a while. Look at his health. Okay, aim down just a little more. Would this work better? That does 100. Slightly more. <laughs> I don't think this is going to hold up durability-wise, though. He's got so much health. This might not work, man. Oh, come on. Why are we not hitting all of a sudden? There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's working well, man. His armor is so cool. There we go. I do have oh, no! He one-shot me. Punch him. Punch him. Go ahead. I need you to finish me off, man. Okay, let's actually... We're going to die anyway. Just do the thing. Okay, confirm it. Yep. I'll be right back. That worked out well. Uh, bed. Seems like we have extra beds. All right. So this is going to take a hot minute, man. Uh, I wonder if I could bring... If I bring someone else over here, they're probably going to die too. So let's not do that. I've got plenty of weapons on my inventory. we got extra swords and... I think we have a couple two-handed weapons and pole arms. We've got two different things on there. There we go. Man, that did not work out at all. I don't even think we've got him down a fourth now. Let's see it in just a second. He's already mad. Go right here so he can't hit me. There we go. We could go a little bit of archery real quick. It does 60, and it's very safe. So let's do this for a little bit. It's probably a better idea anyway. And let me get him at least down under half. Let's go. Okay, the weapon that we're using is polearm, which I thought our polearm skill was pretty high. He's just really tough. Let me just double check here. Polearm, we're at 298. So we're going, and at level 300, I get a little bit more, but that's not going to help. Two-handed's only 88. I mean, we got this is what we have to go with, but... Come on, man. I need you to come back over here. We do have him close to 50, but it's still looking rough. Okay, come on. Let him shoot. There you go. There you go. Keep hitting him. Hit him until he's aiming. Okay. Kind of listen for that shot. 
Okay, bandage time. That hurt a little bit. We made a, a ton of bandages, so we, we can heal up quite a bit. Oh, no, 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 I was just... Uh, oh, my bad. All right. Oh, we got an actual wolf attacking us. Okay. That's what we need right now. We'll be able to take this guy out. Oh, my, my pole arm break? What? I don't know what just happened there. There you go. Come on. There you go. There we go. All right. That went well. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy with a couple bow. I wish there was a way to shoot him in the head. I've tried to get a head like above him and do it, but he kills me every time up there. But this levels up our, our bow too, so we can do this for a little bit and see if we can get our bow leveled up. Really want to take a warrior over there to see if he can get some damage in, but I think he's going to end up getting killed. But I did while we were back here last time. I went ahead and grabbed... Oh, there you go. Climbing stuff. Hold on. I went ahead and made a quick thing inside here, so we should be able to grab that. Go over here. Do the quenching. I don't need it now, but it'll be ready by the next time I come back, so that'll be perfect. All right, back down to continue the process. This is a long one, man. We've already been recording. This has been about 15 to 20 minutes just to get him down to halfway, so it is... They make you work for it. Oof. Oh, he broke the whole thing. Holy crap. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. He broke the entire thing. Uh, I think it was basically resting on one piece, which is why. Wow. Okay. That hurt. That hurt a lot can make it yet but there is a steel truncheon that we can do or the steel stuff that we can do for that i just need iron ore and brimstone i don't think i have brimstone yet i haven't found brimstone but i'm assuming we got to take a trip to the volcano let's go man so we couldn't quite do that guy i i am determined to get him though we're gonna try again i just need a little bit of steel ingot in order to do it in order to do that we need to go get some brimstone so we need steel ingot whole wood and thick leather i think we can make all those things let me double check on the thick leather is that here or is that... No, no, no. Thick leather. Which one is that? That is the... I don't remember which one it is. I know we have the stuff for it. We've done it. Is it that one? Oh, the tannery. That's right. The tannery. Go back out here. Thick leather is fine hide, raw leather, and vegetable oil. Too easy. We can definitely do that. All right. We got a mission, man. Let me go out and get my stuff. Let's go ahead and get a horse. And let's head to get some brimstone. Oh, look at that. Our buddy goat actually marked a spot for us. Marked brimstone, so we are good to go. Let's head that way. Should I take stuff with me just in case we want to tame or catch anything? I don't think so. I think we need to go the other way, though. We're going to follow this road, I believe, just kind of around the corner. Uh, kind of neither way is a good way. But we can go around this. There's a collect point there, too. I want to check that out. But we kind of follow this around, and then north, and then across the bridge. And then we start getting into this really bad area up there. There's trainers there, too. We can go check them out, because I haven't done them, so we can unlock the their area so let me head over there i know it's super dark so hopefully by the time we get there it'll be nice and light and we get some things done today let's go okay we're at the little trainer village this is kind of a small one let's go ahead and check Yay. this place out we've got the trainer over there which oh we can actually purchase something real quick we've got the advanced trainer we've got the coachman we've got the limited time trainer and the merchant let's go ahead and check out this merchant because we've been still trying to figure out aha there we go animal fat remember one of the ones we found where we can actually buy a bunch of these so how much would be 53 53 right 53 would only cost not very much at all okay tattered hide let's do all of that how many can i do i didn't even see what like the max is 35 let's do it animal fur okay grab all of that same thing i didn't see what the max was so let's just buy as much as we can uh, sure. We got 21 more. Okay. 21. Buy it. So this is costing a little bit of money overall, but it's still pretty good. This one's got 95, so this will cost me a couple thousand. Boom. Now those, now I can go to one of the other places, and we can actually sell it to them and make a little bit of money from that. Uh, skill trainer. I think this is who we got to talk to. Advanced. And we're going intelligence and medicine. And we can upgrade that now. Boom. Max scale, skill upgraded. 
I don't think we have anything else up there that can do maybe light armor. Light armor's at 442. We're so close. And bow is getting closer, and that is it. Okay. All right, cool. That knocks out a couple things. We also need to talk to whoever, like, the, the zone guy is. Where's the zone guy? It's not Hunter Merchant. Maybe this isn't one of those. This is just a trainer area. Okay. So no go. None of that. All right, let's turn back around. We did see some elephants and stuff over here, so that's kind of awesome. We're going to go over here and get Brimstone, and I've never been over to this other island, so it'll be our first time really going over there. But I see this giant elephant right up next to the bridge, so we're going to go check that out. I assume at some point we can knock those guys out. That's probably going to be a full-on nightmare. We need better gear and stuff to do that. And I don't know how close we are to the next yeah. level either. We're still quite a ways before level 41. The levels slow down big time at this point. But I'm, I'm guessing these guys do massive damage, so I'm not going to hit him and test it out, but I really want to. Oh, plus he's a skull, so at least he's not aggressive. That's good. All right. Creep across right here. Now, this says brimstone. I wonder if it's just open brimstone or if it's a, a mine that I have to go into. I hope not, because I don't think we can survive that. Okay. Straight ahead, 200 meters. We do have wolves, and I'm assuming the wolves are crazy high level, too. Trying to avoid that guy. All right, I don't think he saw us. Oh, there's oh, there's a ton over there. Okay, everywhere is dangerous. Uh, foxes, okay, we're good. As long as they're not suddenly aggressive. There we do. There we are. Let me just see what the skull is real quick. A bear. Of course it is. Is there any other... Okay. We just have to be ready to run. So is it this one? There we go. Brimstone. There we go. I didn't see how much we needed. I should have done a better job at looking at that. But I'll gather as much as we can real quick. Just from these few. And then we'll go make some. And then I'm going to go sell the stuff too today. We got a couple big goals. Is that another bear? That looks like a bear cub, doesn't it? What is that? Hold on. We're going to risk it for the biscuit just a little bit. It is... Nope, just also a bear. Who is very fast. And very mad. Okay. Let's just run away. We're not. Tr I'm not trying to fight. He is very persistent, though. Alright, we'll go up here and gather some more if he leaves us alone. Okay, I think he stopped. Oh, horses, okay. Is there any more up here? Or do I gotta turn back around? Yeah. Got some right here. Alright, as long as this guy doesn't come up here, we can sit here and gather for a minute. Yeah. So every it's just one brimstone purse. So we can make a ton of it with just the amount that we've got there, and then we just need iron ore, which we have a ton of. We can actually head back now. That was smooth. That actually went really well. I do want to check out these horses eventually. Those guys are above my level, but we can start taming up some higher level horses so that when we train them, we can get them even higher level. This is awesome, man. This is a really good zone. Just lots of bad, bad stuff. You know what? I think I have a daily mission that says I need to collect iron. Uh, Why does that feel like it's coming to me? Just in case, let's go. They might just be foxes, but... Oh, they're deer. Okay. We're good. Oh, I'm going through a wolf camp. Not not a great idea. That is a lot of wolves. Wow. Okay, we need to capture wolves. We need to know where to come back to. We just need to be a little bit higher level for that. Here we go. Come back into our beautiful little area. Right onto our island. Look at that. Perfect. A little bit of lag as we get, get into it. There's a lot of building over here. There we go. Yeah, perfect. All right, very cool. Back at base. Let's go ahead and get this started, and then we're going to go off and sell some stuff. And then hopefully we can make quite a bit of money off it since we spent quite a bit. But I'm thinking that's how it works. You can basically go from trader to trader to sell this stuff. We're figuring it out slowly. Okay, 140 brimstone, so we can make... Oh, oh, I need iron ore. Oh. Okay, I need to do some quick dropping, and we can go grab the iron ore. I've got, like, unlimited iron ore at this point. Let's just drop that wherever for now. Hold on, I need that. That's stuff we're selling. Don't get rid of that. Okay. And then we'll go grab a couple blocks of iron ore. 
Well, like I said, we have pretty much unlimited. Is this guy full again? He is. He's rolling. So we'll grab one, two. We can barely move. Perfect. We'll get this started, and then we're going to drive over to... R ride over to the camp right there, I think, is where we're going. All right. Throw these in here. This should get us into the much better stuff. Boom. Craft it. Oh, insufficient temperature. Oh. Interesting. What else can we put in there? What else is a... Does it tell me what the other stuff is? Still ingot for weapons. Please change the fuel. What do I need? Okay, we need complete wood. Okay, I found a YouTube channel called Vinny the Kabasa King. I think is how we say it. And that led me to figure out what it is. So we need, I forgot what I said already. Hardwood, whole wood, one of those. Not the hardwood, the next one up. So I need to go chop down a tree. All right, here we go. Okay, so thanks to that YouTube video, we should be able to do this now. Let's go ahead and throw the cracked wood up here. Is it whole wood? Trigger. And go. There it is. We've got 40 of that coming up. It'll come up pretty quickly. We've got the settings here set to where it's not too, too bad in terms of crafting time. There we go. And then how much of that do I need to make our first steel weapon? That's the next question. So if we check this out. For a steel truncheon. Five, five, and one. Same with that one. Same with that one. Okay. So we'll be able to make a couple. And then that one's the same thing. So I need to go get some whole wood. So let me go work on a little bit more chopping down trees while that's smelting. And then we'll make our first big weapon. This will be awesome. Okay, we got the first one coming up, which is the raw leather. We'll make a bunch of that, and then we'll switch it over to the thick leather. And then we're good to go, man. I think we only need one of these per each one. So it's we only need like four or five to make each one of the weapons. So I'll, I'll let this craft up. And then the next one we need is more vegetable oil. So we'll keep grabbing that. Put that in here. There you go. And now we can make the thick leather as well. Boom. There you go. We'll make quite a bit of that. Grab what... Oh, no. Don't grab what we got real quick. Get rid of that. Make that. Make that. Boom. All right. As soon as the thick leather is ready, we'll grab a little bit of that. And let's go make our first couple weapons. Okay. First bits of steel made up. We're going to throw this on here. And then I don't know if we have enough for the quenching table, but we'll figure that out. I need more of the leather. We'll wait on that for a second. So we've got... Ring hilt blade, broad axe, iron mace, and steel truncheon. Hmm. So let's do the broad axe first. All right, we're going to do that one. Take a couple minutes to get that one done, so we'll let that do its thing. We'll grab a little bit more leather. I would like to get all of, all of these queued up, make all four, so we can figure out what each one is. I think one is a two-handed weapon, one's a pull arm, but it might be a knockout device, too. I don't actually know. Grab that. Now we should have enough. But awesome, man. I can't believe we're finally into steel. Maybe with this, we can take out that level 40 finally. Because I'm hoping it does quite a bit more damage. I just don't know what the difference is. All right. So we've got the broad axe coming up. There's the mace. Steel truncheon. And the blade. Awesome. Okay. We're going to have to wait until we get more levels to unlock a few more things. So while that's crafting, because that's at least two, four, six, eight, at least eight minutes, we're going to do a quick road trip to the other trader to see if that's where we can sell this stuff at, make a little bit of cash, and then we'll know that this is what we're going to start doing like every day. All right, we're at the trader. Of course, we got some wolf problems real quick. Let's take care of the wolf. Oh, get your thing out. No, no, no. Get the right one out. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, this guy doesn't do very much damage anyway. We can actually let him hit us and maybe level up. There we go. Ford 18 is what we're doing. Okay, help me level up, buddy. There's also another way that we could do this. We can go punch a turtle or a fox and have everyone attack us. Then we can quickly get the levels we need up. This guy? Nope. This guy. Are you the one we need? There you go. Pirate merchant. What's up, buddy? So we want to sell to you. And now we should have... We have it. Look at that. Will you take all of them that I have? Oh, look, it shows a price ratio. Interesting. Okay, I have 73. Will you really do that? Sell. Nice. 
we definitely made money off that. Okay. And then 53 on this one. And then we got, what do we got here? 35 on this one. So I can do it all at once. And 95 on this one. Sell. Back to 11,000. So I think, I think we made money. <laughs> we definitely did. I would have to go back and kind of take a look at it and see exactly what we got done there. But that was awesome. So that's a good way to do it. What does he have for sale that we could just continue doing this? So he's got some other stuff like squid and other things like that. But I don't know where we have to take it. So is it worth doing? That's only 10 per. That'd be 480. Okay, so let's go 48. All right, that one's easy. There's 86 of these, so almost $1,000 worth of this. 86. Dried fish, 79. I hope I can figure out where to sell these. Because this is a lot. There's a lot of money we're clicking on. Um, let's go like this. And how many we got here? 94 of that. Okay. That was a lot. That was a lot we just did. I'm going to have to figure out where to do this. Let me also see how close we are to getting our talent and skill up for light armor. We're so close. 442. We're going to get this today. All right. I'm going to take a trip all the way up to the other one. It's going to be kind of a long ride, but this helps us level up our riding anyway, and then we'll get back and we'll do the steel stuff. Uh, so probably going to pass through another night. I'll try to not record too much at nighttime, except for when we're in the town and talking to the next trader. So that's what we're going to work on now. Yay! I think the next one is... I think the next one is the one way up there, but now I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I hit pause on the recording, and we ran through a town and got absolutely wrecked. My poor horse just died. So I have to hoof it all the way home, and we are a couple thousand meters away. And I don't think... I usually keep reins on me just for this exact reason. And this will be the one day where I don't have anything on me. This is absolutely a nightmare. Oh, come on, man. Not right now. I'm having a bad day. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, you were just going to punch in the face. Come on. There we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think... I can't make a rain on my inventory, right? Is If it is, then I can do it. But if not, we got to go all the way back. Okay, basically an entire day-night cycle later, we are back at the base. It took a long time to run all the way back. We only got attacked once or twice, so it wasn't too bad. Nothing like bears or anything like that that would have completely wrecked my face. So we should have now all that stuff crafted up. We were gone quite a while. Let me see. Should all be good? All good. Look at that. Now, I don't know if I have the stuff to do the cooling. Grab all those. Boom. We got all four. And then the cooling I need. Oh, I wonder if you need different stuff for these. Oh, something different. Quenching oil. Oh, I did see that. Hold on. Where did we see that at? Quenching oil. Here? Nope. Uh, quenching oil. Bone meal, vegetable oil, animal fat, and crude salt. Okay, I have some of those items. Some of those we're going to have to go out and grab, but I've got animal fat. We've got... Hold on, we just got ridiculous amounts of everything. I've got 21 crude salts. Not very much. What else was it? That's only two of the items. There we go. Fat and... Salt. And then vegetable oil I can grab and bone mill. Oh, bone mill. Easy. Bone mill we can definitely make. Okay, we got it. We have everything. Grab a giant stack. Oh, my God. We're so heavy. All right. Uh, drop some things. Okay, the bone mill is made on the mortar pestle, which we have chilling over here. Go ahead and throw that on. And bone mill. Boom. There you go. So we got 50 of that coming up. We'll grab just a little bit of that. And then how much do we need to make just one? We've got our vegetable oil and our crude stuff. Okay, and it's a one-to-one -one for that. So the only thing we need extra of is the animal fat. So I can make a few of these. Definitely make enough to make these weapons. That is awesome. There you go. Boom. Five of those should be enough. There we go like that. And boom. There we go. Quenching oil coming up. And then the quenching oil, we use that. And then now we can make the thing. There's one. We'll get two of them, and then we'll go get started on it. All right, there's two. Run back over to the quenching table. Here we go. First steel weapon coming up. We'll go... Oh, we've already got one over there. We just need to go... Oh, it's two per. Oh, no. Okay, we might not be able to do enough. It's two per. We'll see. So we need two every single time. Let's go grab more. And that's all we had so far. It's four. We need more bone meal, which we got more bone meal coming. Easy. There you 
we go. More of that. And I've got tons of bone. We got a ton more back over there. So we could do this for sure. There you go. There's four more. That puts us at eight. That should be all of them that we need. Perfect. Go to the next one. And, yep, we definitely have enough. All right, there's that one. So that is a... Oh, it's one-handed. It's not a throwing one, is it? I don't think so. So we'll grab that in just a second. Put that up there. Do the mace. Confirm. Go grab more quenching oil. And you can't attach yourself to that bench, otherwise we'd stay there for those that XP points. And then the last bit. There you go. And we can make our last two. So we'll have all four of these. We can equip one of our guys with a really good axe. All right. There is this one. This is a also a one-handed iron mace. Interesting. I didn't know it was one-handed. A truncheon. That should definitely be two-handed, right? So let's see. Let's compare this to, like, our pole arm that we've been using. So for the iron one... Where is it at? Slash damage 293, piercing damage 237. This is just 276 blunt. Oh, maybe this is a knockout. It might be. Shaped like a melon, mainly used for smashing enemies, has tremendous power that can strike fear into your enemies. Interesting. Not 100% sure, guys. We'll see. Get this last one up there. Cool. Oh my god, our armor is broken too. I didn't realize that our armor is broke. We did make a whole bunch of everything, so we can do this real quick. Uh, or not, because I don't have any ammo fat. I just thought about that. So maybe not. I might have some made somewhere. If I can find it, we'll, we'll grab that. All right, where's that last weapon? Did I not do it? Uh, still truncheon. Where's the last one? Oh, there it is. It just was not showing up. All right, and then that one is a one-handed blade. Okay, it looks cool. I just don't know how it's going to be. But let's test it. Let me get a couple walls so we can go out here and make new walls. In fact, maybe this is time for us to make the better quality wall. We can do that. We need to make the masonry walls. Clay ceiling. Stone. There we go. Stone stone wall. Is brick and square wood. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, I thought I hit record again. Uh, we're struggling over here. So we've got the four steel weapons made up, all that steel that we got together. We have made our all of our steel stuff, but it still just doesn't do a lot of damage because we're not really leveled up in one-handed. We kind of made the mistake of switching to full arm a lot lately, so the one-handed is not doing great. But we got them retrapped in there. I went ahead and rebuilt the thing. We got them retrapped, and then we were testing it out, and it, it does okay damage-wise, but we're basically doing 60 damage because we're just not leveled up in that stat. But, it, but the, the good thing is, this is going to slowly level us up. Once we get up here, then we do even more damage, right? Uh, kind of. Strike by 5%. And then once we get all the way to 450, you start looking kind of good. You start getting some really decent stats. It's just going to take us a while to get there. So let's get back on it. Yep, I know, I know, I know. I know. Come on. Let him shoot. There you go. All right. So the question is if I should just focus on going bow for a little while. Maybe. We can also go to this other side. I don't know if that's better. Oh, he can dodge if we do that. Interesting. I wonder why he went to melee real quick. Oh, he got me again. Every few seconds. Oh my god, you are kidding me. After all that, we died on the bridge, he jumped off, and he died in the water. Are you being serious? Or did a boar get him? No, that's a boar. No, that's him. Okay, well, can I at least get his body? 600 coins. So 40 deaths, he killed every one of my warriors. Th that method worked, though. I got him up into the thing. He definitely wrecked my bridge a little bit. But we got him up there. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to regroup a little bit. That was only level 40 over there. I really wanted level 40. Uh, but it is not meant to be just yet. I got some repairs to do. We'll worry about that later. Oh, we got him out. There we go. So this is not a level 40, but it's still not bad. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up. Take him back to our brand new torture racks. 
All right, guys. So hopefully I can edit this get together in like a halfway decent video. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy recruited up. Next couple days, I'm going to try to get back on track with some base stuff. We also got some really cool unlocks coming. We're level 41, about to hit level 42. So we got to keep working on that as well. In fact, I might leave my guy AFK. We're probably going to do that. Let's leave my guy AFK and actually level up my recruiting a little bit more. Recruiting now a couple days later after working on things for a little bit. We are now up to 500 and something on recruiting. 526. Once we get a little higher, it gets even better. So we're going to keep doing that. Warriors gain an extra 1 to 5 levels once we hit level 600. That's awesome. And then 2 to 10 levels. Wow. Recruit, get an extra 100 points of life force. Very cool. Oh, wow. So later on, you get more life force. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. But all right, guys. I'm going to end it there. So hopefully, I can put this together to a good video. I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work. But hopefully, I can figure it out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Really do appreciate it. Myth of Empires has been going really well. We are going to be doing a couple new things here on the channel over the next couple weeks. But I'll try to keep Myth of Empires as kind of a, a main playthrough as for, for as long as we can. Keep in mind that with this game, it is a lot of work. Is it a lot of grind? You can see how many animals we've had die this entire season. Like, if I'm offline for a couple days... Almost everyone dies, to include the warriors, to include the animals, a little bit of everything. And this is even on a private server where we've edited it to where the, the warriors no longer die. But I can't quite figure out the animal pins. We can't quite figure out the crops, stuff like that. But it's getting better slowly. Hopefully, we'll continue to figure it out. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you next one. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate y'all. I haven't even looked at my sub count lately. But thank you for everyone that's subbed to the channel recently. See you guys next one.